Mark, let's say Joe Biden does lose re-election. Does pardoning Hunter become inevitable? Yes. Okay. Um, does the House move forward, Mark, to you again? Does the House move forward with articles of impeachment against Joe Biden in the new year? No. 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 Caroline, same question. No. General Holt, same question. Absolutely not. They're not. That's not the political place they want to go or be because that that tower is falling all by itself, and and the Republicans have not really been any more active in oversight this year than just theater. Uh, nobody's been referred to a judge. It's just been embarrassing question hour. Mark, you are the Harvard alum on the panel. Does Claudine Gay continue to serve as president of Harvard in the new year? Not when she finds a new job. Caroline? Absolutely not. I think she has to step down. I think she might have to, you know, launch legal action as a consequence of this whole shenanigans. But I do think she cannot remain president of Harvard and Harvard keep its academic integrity. Those things are not compatible anymore. General, minute left, so I'm going to squeeze a few in here. Uh, to the war in Israel, um, does Israel win this war and are they successful eliminating Hamas from the Gaza Strip? They absolutely will be. There's no question that they're militarily on the right track to do that. It'll come down to political resolve and, and Netanyahu resisting the uh, political pressure he's under internationally. General, is Benjamin Netanyahu prime minister in Israel in 2025? Thin chance of that happening. Uh, I think we're going to go back to October 7th and we're going to learn a whole lot of things. But people in Israel, as opposed to our nation, will be held accountable for lapses in leadership. Mark? Do Republicans take control of the Senate? Do they keep the House? Uh, yes and no. Caroline? Yes and no. Who wins the election? All three of you will start with Caroline Downey. I think who wins the election? Probably, honestly, maybe Trump. <laughs> Mark Halperin. Mark, oh, don't, don't do that. Don't play coy with me. His volume went out at the worst time. It's out again. See, he has to do this. Uh, General, Mark's going to correct his volume. Why don't you give us your right. response, and then we'll get the final response This is America. This I'll segment. vote for Mark, too. Uh, it's President Trump. <laughs> okay. Mark Halperin, who wins the 2024 presidential election? The American people. Are you not going to give me an answer on this? <laughs> no, I'm not going to give you Mark, an answer. Mark, this is a prediction oh my, segment. Oh you my. have to make a prediction. <laughs> this is what you've done for 25 I, oh, years. Former, you were the former I made, political director at ABC News under Peter Jennings. You worked at MSNBC for more than a decade. You know this stuff better than most people. You've covered and followed political elections going back to George H.W. Bush. How do you feel right now, 10 and a half months out? Who is going to win the election? Give me a name. Give me a name, I, Mark. I, technic I technically never worked at MSNBC. Uh, my head says Trump, my gut says Biden. Head says Trump, gut says Biden. All right. We'll hold you to it, whatever that means. Um, <laughs> enjoyed it. Great segment. I love this segment. I look forward to this segment throughout the year. We'll pick this back up in 2024. Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank right. you.